Hello, the internet. It is Monday, the 24th of June, 2019. There are many surfboards behind me. You see these? Do you recognize these surfboards? I'm at the Global Surf Industry Showroom up in Brookvale. There are two people here that are gonna help this kook get better at his surfing. G'day, Tom. <laughs> Mr. Tom Carroll. How are you going? Yeah, I'm very good, thanks. If you know surfing, you'll know this man. You'll know where he's been, what he's done. I don't need to list the accolades. Tom, thank you for giving your time to me to help me get better. It's absolute pleasure. How can you help this kook get better at surfing? Well, I can observe <laughs> what you're doing in the water. Right. You actually, hear how you're talking about it particularly too. Right. And what you're seeing and what you're explaining about what you've been riding, that observation's been good. Okay. Uh, but really, ultimately, we've got to get out there. Yes. And, and understand what's going on when you're actually going for a wave and what you're seeing in the ocean. What I'm seeing is pretty cool what you're doing and, and we're here, we've got all this equipment we can sort of tap into. Yes. Uh, you know, we've got another person down here. Yes. We've got Richie, Richie Lovett, Lovett who knows what he's doing with the designer's surfboard. Richie Lovett, <laughs> how you going, man? I'm really good. Nice to meet you too. Stoked you're here with us, man. <gasps> Isn't this cool that this has come from a wave a day? Global Surf Industries hooked all this up. This is mind baffling. You're the designer here of surfboards. And I love it. I can love you, it. Equipment's everything. Like really, um, you know, you were just talking to Tom about sort of uh, the more technique sort of stuff. We can view you, we can look at you and go, okay, perhaps you need to put your body here and there and whatever. But the other part of the equation is equipment. Yes. You don't have the right equipment, you're dead in the water. Yes. I guess part of today is about making sure you're on the right boards. Yes. Uh, to be able to not only sort of harness what you're doing now, but also take you to the next level. The modern Highline I've been riding has been fantastic. It's, it's perfect, but I feel like I've just slightly progressed a little bit past it. Whatever you can guide me with, I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm all ears. Yeah, well, we've, uh, we, we've sort of been looking at your videos um, and we can tell you have progressed. There is a level of confidence there, not only in the way you're standing on the board and the way you're manipulating the board and making it work, right. but there's also a level of confidence with understanding the ocean, putting yourself in the right position on the waves and things like that. So it really is time that we get off uh, the board that you're on now, which yes. is a big, wide, stable piece of equipment. Yes. Uh, we need to get a little bit more sensitivity into what you're doing. Okay. Something where you can actually start uh, controlling the board a little bit better, steering it to where you want to go, and that's going to open up a whole whack of opportunities for you. This is so cool. I'm really, really excited. And we're going to go out for a surf with this new board. Unfortunately, Tom's injured right now, but we're going to have a great time. That's perfect because yeah. <laughs> that's, he's going to be super coach on the beach. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Let's Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah, All right. right, let's do it. Yeah. We've come down to Manly Beach here. This is a beach I've never surfed at. It's world famous, Manly Beach. By the way, I am rocking a brand new Arizon wetsuit. This is my winter suit, full length steamer. Check this out. I have had two other surfs that I haven't shown you. I'm going to show you some footage and then we'll talk about the boards that we have here from Global Surf Industries.
Richie, we brought three boards down from the showroom. What did we, what did we bring down with us? So we've bought a smaller version of what you've been riding, which okay. is the Highline. Yep. The premise of that board is it's a little bit shorter, but very wide with a lot of volume. The downside of that board is that when you actually want to start getting into turning, because of the width, it doesn't allow you to just jump onto that rail and really engage it, lean into the turn, right. rather than steer it. It allows you to steer the turn. So today, it's about moving you into kind of engaging that rail, yep. actually tipping into the turn, okay. and then projecting forward. So we're gonna go for a smaller version of the Highline, yep. see how you go with the volume, drop in volume. Right. From there, we're gonna test a new board called the Falcon. So the Falcon is like the skinnier, fitter version of the Highline. The fitter version. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, so, and that's what you're ready for. So overall, it's got a skinnier outline. Right. Uh, and much narrower in the tail. Both of those things are gonna give it more sensitivity. Yep. As is more rocker. So when we talk about rocker, we talk about the bottom curve. Yep. The more curve, uh, the easier it is to turn and respond. Third option is the Superfish 4. Okay. So that's taking it to another level altogether. Okay. So a little bit more rocker again, more complex bottom contours, skinnier again and narrower. So. We're just going to go through the motions, try all three, yep. see how we go. Interestingly, the Superfish is uh, one inch longer. The other two boards are shorter than my, my 6.8, right? Yeah, relatively. They're all around that a similar uh, volume. Right. Um, but we are dropping you down in volume. Okay. So this is going to be a little test for you in terms of fitness and being able to get onto the wave. Yep. I think you'll adjust to it fairly quickly. Yep. And then from there, it's going to be about refining the feel. So I think it's good that we're going to try a couple of different boards and you'll really be able to experience uh, a different feel with three different boards. Meanwhile, Tom waxes them up for us. How nice is that? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, not often you get a world champion waxing your boards for you, I tell you. What, what did I do to deserve this? I'm just a kook that can't really surf and Tom Carroll's waxing the boards. Unbelievable. Thanks, Tom. Rare moment. <laughs> that is pretty unique, isn't it? I got. Tom Carroll and Richie Lovett waxing up boards for me. What is going on in this world? Look how many people are at Manly Beach surfing too. Check this. Ready for action, huh? Ready for the action. Let's do it. Let's do this. Now I don't have a surfboard mount camera here. I've got better than that. Tom Carroll filming from the shore. Don't need a surfboard mountain if you got Tom doing that. Thanks, Tom. On another day, another week, in another year, I'm sailing with another me and another you and another we. I'm waving at another place, at another time, in another world, I'm sailing. I've got a couple of little curves, curves, little trims. I've got to say, the Irish and wetsuit, man, it is beautiful and warm. I'm not sailing, I'm not waiting, I'm not sailing. Modern Highline 6-4 has been fun, but I think it's time to swap out now. the sea, drifting into the sun. I'm sailing, I'm not waiting. I've got a few, I've got a few rights, but the lefts were the lefts were plaguing me. I got a few good kooks out there too. <laughs> I felt like this was well more manoeuvrable. Yeah, even just coming down four inches in volume, Yeah. in four inches in height, is just gonna give you a, a whole lot more turning capacity. Right, So I could definitely feel it. Yeah. Easy to duck dive in these conditions too. Yeah, easier to handle. Yeah. So we're gonna go with the Superfish, the 7S Superfish version four. Version four of the Superfish, the catchphrase for this board, the slogan, little, the slogan is catch more waves. Catch more so, waves. You know, having the volume there to get on the waves, but then having a little bit more uh, maneuverability, more technical stuff going on with the bottom contours to really start ripping in. Okay. Catch more waves sits very well with my mantra. 
Okay, well, first things I noticed while paddling out on the 7S Superfish, it is definitely longer and thinner. It's only longer by one inch, but it's a lot thinner. How that translates into my ability, that's what we're here to find out. That felt really good. Yeah, Richie just got me onto the perfect spot for that wave, and uh, man, it was golden tip. <laughs> yeah, so rad. Had power, had speed. Saw the face come up. This board felt rad. Yeah, so good. Do it again. Yeah, so good. Let's do it again. Sail to the moon, drive by the stars, drop to the sun. I'm sailing with the wind that comes and the tide that turns. Yes! <laughs> That's a fantastic feeling. Before it just feels so much more gliding or smooth or something. Unbelievable. That was a great ride. Look at this. Our lives are better when we surf. Your life will be better when you surf. Life is better when you surf. Sailing, I'm not waiting. I'm not sailing. I'm not waiting. I'm not sailing. Swap out now from the 7S, 7S Superfish version 4 to the modern Falcon. This guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> Rider up. Yeah. Ooh. Nice one, Bennon. Oh, shit. That didn't look too good. What are you thinking? I am really exhausted. Longest surf I've ever had. Got to try out three beautiful boards. Got some good rides. Cooked it a bit, but that was to be expected. It was really nice to be able to try different like styles of boards, different sizes, just to get that feel underneath my feet. It's also strange to be out there surfing with other people. <laughs> Don't get that in Colborough Beach. Great to be out there surfing with Richie as well. <laughs> it was so cool. So many good tips and pointers, man. Like, wait for the wave, come over here, go the one behind it. I spend a lot of time out there paddling and wasting my energy and the tips that Richie had helped me to conserve that energy. Thank you so much, Richie. You're welcome, man. Yeah. Thanks Tom for filming on the beach there man. I got gotcha. you. You got the uh, thanks man. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> oh dude. Woo. So we've just had our surf and I was impressed mind you. Oh, I, thank you. Yeah I was stoked. It was really cool to share a good couple of hours in the water. See where you're at. And it's time to it's time to go to the next level. Yes. So we did the modern high line. The fundamentals are ingrained in you now. The progression is there and the Superfish, the 7S Superfish 4 is the board that's going to take you yes. to the next level. That was the one, that was the board when we were out there, it was yes. the middle one that you tried. Yep. That was the one that you paddled back out the back. Every You got three or four good rides, yeah. really great rides. You came out just beaming and buzzing. I could feel it man, I could and feel it. those vibes mean that this board is now yours. Dude, thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Thanks, Richie. Yeah, pleasure, Thanks, Global man. Surf Industries. Thanks, Tom. Man, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait for the winter waiver day and then further from there as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank Eww. you, man. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah. Just pure froth. froth. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Seven so S it up. Look at that. <laughs> it's a beauty, isn't it? Like, look at it's it. It's a cracker. What? Yeah. Six nine fish, super fish. That's so sick. So, the, I mean, even though it's an inch, we're going an inch longer. Yeah but significantly narrower, narrower. Yep. with some more stuff going on on the bottom contours, single to double concave, we've got the swallow tail happening. 10 litres less volume. 10 litres le less volume, which is important because yeah. that's a fairly significant jump down in volume. This will really start tapping you into the good parts of the wave where you can start to turn. 
Froth is undeniable. Yeah. How rad is that to have had Tom Carroll and Richie Lovett spend the day with me helping this kook get better. They've assisted me, they've gave me tips and tricks, and they've helped me pick out a new board. I am eternally grateful for them giving me their time today. And thank you so much to Global Surf Industries for hooking all this up. This is so amazing. Thank you so much. Aras and wetsuits, thank you for the new wetsuit. This is gonna be super important for winter. July 1, wave a day, winter edition. I need that full length wetsuit and today was a great test. Perfect, perfect suit, incredible. Links of course in the description for you to check out both the surfboard and the new wetsuit. I'll tell you what though, just here there's a beautiful left hand working right now and I've got a new board so let's get back out there. Oh that's um, we're out of time! I know, I know, I know. I keep running out of time on my own channel. You think I'd get that checked out by now, right? Hey look, if you like what you've seen here on the channel and you want to contribute financially, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description field of this video. And if you haven't done this already and you want to make sure you don't miss any of my future uploads, hit the subscribe button here. You can also check out my previous vlog here or a random vlog there. And you can become a patron of mine here. What's that? No, 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 I'm busy with my end slate. I'm busy with my end slate. I'll be with you in a few seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds is all I require. All right, I'm coming now.